So, you may be wondering why there's a Colt box and a Glock in the same frame. I, uh, I made a video before talking about why I would carry a Glock over a 1911 for duty use, and uh, it made a lot of people upset. Which in there I say just my reasoning, and uh, further, I, um, you know, I don't bag on the 1911. I, I love 1911s, and uh, I always have and always will. I uh, have come across a new one. And this new one is going to be my new duty gun, replacing the Glock 17. So uh, let's, uh, let's get this going, huh? Let's get a closer look. Okay, so this is the box open. This is just a picture, obviously, uh, as it looked when I first picked it up. It is a Colt um, XSE line rail gun uh, in stainless. So it's got a bead blast and then a brushed stainless look on the flats of the slide. Um, as, it see, as you see, it has a 1913 Picatinny rail, rosewood uh, grips, and uh, the upswept with the uh, larger palm safety or beaver tail safety. Um, it's got the little nub on it that sticks it out a little bit more. And standard traditional Novak style sights. Um, so that's, uh, that's how it looked. Obviously it required some updating and features that I would need if I was going to in fact carry this for duty. And uh, let's get a closer look at those features. And this is how it looks now. Uh, it's got some updates to it. Um, we've changed out the mainspring housing the, with the magwell on it. Some new, more aggressive grips and the sights have been changed um, to a Trijicon HD sight set um, for a duty gun. The standard three dots just don't cut it. Need some trinium in them and you also need something that draws your attention to that front sight because front sight's most important. So uh, let's get a closer look at this gun and see, uh, see what you guys think. Okay, so here is the pistol. Um, as you see here, we've got some uh, VZ grip operator threes. Um, it's got the slants in the back and it's got like ridges on the front. It's really aggressive. It's got the oversized cutout for mag safety, or I'm sorry, for the mag release, not safety, uh, mag release. And then you swing it around, same on this side. It is ambidextrous safety cut. This gun is not an amb ambidextrous safety gun. Um, so, but I have the option later on. And then those are the sights I was talking about, the Trijicon HD. It's got the shelf on the back for cocking, single-handed if you had to. And then the front has the bright phosphorescent orange ring around a uh, single trinium night sight. It's got two in the back, but it is blacked out and it does have the siping or striping on it, the channels to uh, kind of take away from the glare. Hopefully that's picking up in the video. Anyways, um, that's the pistol. Colt doesn't do front strap checkering. And I think these are called uh, Boudans or Bodads or Boudads or something like that. I'll put a link in. Um, it's just the rubber grips, like a talon type grip um, that uh, is pre-cut for the front strap of a 1911. Gives you a little bit of a soft, kind of tacky feel to uh, get your fingers in uh, in line up there and then as you see it's flared and lowered uh, ejection port um, it does have the national match barrel in it and uh, it's a pretty tight gun pretty tight lockup uh, a little bit of play in the beaver tail but I don't uh, doesn't really bother me too much on that and then magazine does have bullets but it is an empty empty firearm um, does not have a full length guide rod. Uh, that way you can take it down in the field if you need and all that. Um, one of the requirements I need for a duty gun is the ability to 
put a uh, tack light on here. And I have owned a couple of Sig Sours um, that make a 1911 that has a rail, um, none of which were eligible for duty at my place of employment, but this one is. So that's why I went, went and looked for it, got it, haven't shot it yet, I'm going to take it to the range. I'm going to do a lot of shooting with it before I even consider putting it into service. A um, few hundred rounds. I'm going to I already test fed a bunch of hollow points, a bunch of wide hollow points um, through it, but uh, it fed those just fine. But this I really want to take out to the range and shoot extensively, practice my reloads, practice my malfunction drills, all that before I actually put it into service. Um, and then if you take my previous gun, my Glock 17, still love it, it's a great gun. Um, but I wanted to try something new. Had a lot of uh, experience shooting a 1911 and I enjoy the 1911 itself. Um, and I look forward to getting out there and maybe putting this thing into use. I am going to get a different tack light for it. Um, the TLR1 is what I normally carry. I am going to be looking at uh, getting a Surefire X300, seeing as though the only um, holsters I can find allow for the railed 1911 and the X300. Now one of the big things that uh, is kind of disappointing here is um, everybody talking about in my last video that only cheap 1911s come with plastic mainspring housings. However, this here is the one that came on this gun. And this is not a cheap gun. This is a plastic mainspring housing, which is the weak point on any 1911. You hit that corner, breaking it, your hammer spring is gone, and your gun is non-functional. So, in my video, like I said, first thing to change out on all 1911s or verify it's steel is the mainspring housing. Colt's new models uh, are coming with plastic mainspring housings. Plastic. Junk. Put in a steel one made by Fusion Firearms. They uh, they do some cool stuff. This one has the chain link pattern. I don't know if it's picking up in the video. But it's steel all the way around and it adds a magwell extension. So, uh, yes. Now I would say this gun is service ready. Just needs a light and needs some uh, Need some shooting, some rounds through it to verify that I can trust this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully there's not too much hate in here. Um, the last video got so much hate, I tried defending my uh, responses or my uh, my reasoning behind it, but a lot of people just didn't like it. So, But uh, this one here is in fact going to be worn on my duty belt for a bit, um, if not forever. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works, and uh, I'll give updates once we get out to the range and all that stuff and let you know how, uh, how she's running. Okay, in case uh, you guys are wondering about magazines for duty, obviously the gun came with two uh, eight-round Colt mags, real nice mags, but um, those won't be getting used. As you see here, I've got five of the uh, Chip McCormick power plus uh, or 10 plus mags. Um, what I found is you have to get the newer version of the plus because the follower on the standard power 10s, it's been my experience, will cause a malfunction on the last round because it's cut out. This one is designed so it cannot spring up past the opening. Uh, the original ones could spring all the way up and I found it induced malfunctions. So you want the ones that say 10 plus just verify on the magazine that's what you're getting um otherwise it can cause you some trouble so but uh yeah got five of those for the belt and then uh one wilson combat that would uh that'll go on the uh in the actual firearm for uh cruising around and all that stuff um so anyways just a quick little update do have a uh company I could put a link in there that does custom Kydex that is making a five magazine uh, pouch for me in a basket weave uh, Kydex. That's no, no, I guess it's like a half an inch wider than um, this standard 
um, Glock 3 uh, double stack magazine pouch. So it'll take up a little bit more room, but not much. And uh, with that loadout, I'll have the same amount of bullets in the gun as I did when I carried my Glock 35 with uh, 59 rounds. With this setup, I will have 59 rounds on my person. So uh, hopefully uh, we get out there and get some shooting in and uh, get you guys some more footage and some updates. Thanks for watching. And uh, one last little thing. When you carry a 1911 for duty, your backup should be a Glock. Glock 43, little slimline, uh, 9 mil, and uh, yeah, you'll be set. As you see, I got the bright orange phosphorescent front sight on that as well. And a little uh, TLR6 tack light, got the Gladius uh, vest mount holster, locks it in tight, streamline, all that. So, if you're going to carry a 1911, back it up with a Glock. Just saying.